Hi, it's Ola, and today I'm going to show you how to use the color codes and Enable Color Global to link different body parts together so you can have multiple body types. Now, we will eventually have a better system for this, but currently the best way that people are using to kind of hack this effect is with the color codes. And it can be a bit complicated conceptually. That's why I'm going to walk you through it. I've got a beautiful game here on loan, and let's begin. We have different bodies and the bodies have different ears on separate layers. So the first thing we need to do, because we're gonna use the color codes to link them, that means they need, there needs to be a color picker. If there's a color picker, that means everything needs to be in one folder. So I'm just gonna click on the top body, hold down shift, click on the bottom body that selects all of them, click the little folder icon in Photoshop, just put them all in one folder. So now we could name it something, doesn't matter, body, but the important part is color picker. And now the colors that we pick will determine what color the buttons are. So in this case, because every body in this case is a different color, we would naturally pick a color from the body. Oops. So I'm going to choose this beige for the beige, blue for the blue. However, another way you could do this is, for example, I saw there's a wonderful game that uses uh, wedding dresses. So everything is white. Every option is white, but the bodies change. So the creator used like three shades of gray, like white, gray, and black, something like that, so that every body because you can't show the shape of the body in the button, but you can just kind of use the colors of the buttons to indicate one, two, three, four, a scale of sorts. But in this case, we can match the colors to the body. It should work quite well. Okay, so that's the body. Now we come up to the ears. So the ears, I'm going to hold one, hold shift, select all of them, put them in a folder. And then we're going to put another folder and put the folder in a folder because we have to mimic the structure down here. So this is going to be body color picker and this is going to need to be linked to the body folder. So we're going to add a ref here, ref mm, main body, the ears, we're going to mirror them. because the ears aren't going to change. The player is not going to interact with the ear menu. The ear menu will simply do whatever the ref tells it to. And so it doesn't really matter what you put up here. Do not put any codes in the sort of receiving folder. You put ears, do not put fixed, optional, nothing there. And that will just listen to the body. And the character folder already has an icon, that's good. So then the ears need now the corresponding color code. So the beige ear needs the beige code. What's next? The blue ear, blue space here needs the blue code. And match up this now the layer order up here doesn't matter because this is the folder the ref folder is the one that's going to dictate the order they show up in the menu so the ears up here could be in a different order it doesn't matter they will listen to what the folder says below so we will so that's the ears done now there's another folder in here i believe it was the mouth an accessory for the mouth so this has to be rearranged a little bit we're going to do a separate folder and put that there. We don't need all these extra folders because same thing has to follow the same structure. <sighs> Smoke, and this is gonna be mirror. And now this is also gonna be another mirror of main body. And so this is matching this body. So because even though these two bodies are the same, you do still need the separate layers up here because right now we don't have a way to tell it that to be efficient like that. So we make one for every one. Do, do, do. Okay. 
And now this folder listens to the one below, but it, it does need an icon because it will be optional. So, oh, she already has mouth optional. Okay, awesome. But we do need to now link the colors. So that's why on this, we're going to say enable color global colon mm, body coals. And we got to put the same thing on the character. Enable color global body coals. And up here, the smoke will be color picker hidden because when the person is choosing another accessory you don't want them to then be worried about which shape of body they're choosing they do that on the character menu so we're going to hide the color picker here it will automatically turn on the smoke to the right body oops oh i ran a quick test to see how the file is doing and i realized layer body needs to be the same number of the children of mirror ref main body um, it's not happy that the ears have one less layer than this color picker. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a blank layer if C for the one that is missing an ear and just see if that relieves that problem. Okay, so I reloaded it and it was not happy. It cannot load image, so it knows it's blank. Um, so I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a dot on the layer and then I'm going to move this outside of the stage. Okay, save and see if that works. Okay, and so that did work. That fixed that problem. Now we have a remaining problem. Layer smoke was linked with layer body under the same color global scope body calls. And you know what? I think maybe the problem is that I don't need a mirror because this accessory will be toggled independently so i don't actually need to link it with ref and mirror i just need to link it with enable color global and i think that should be sufficient so you turn the item on and off over here but you the color be, will be linked because of up here let's try that okay and that did work whoops i should turn that off so it doesn't start with it but let's see how this looks okay you can see the ears are turning on with it but you can also see the ears are not appearing in the menu so what you can do is you can actually paste the second ear so that it's both on the layer underneath and then you can see in the menu and separately on its own layer the way we have it now so both are basically duplicate the ear twice so it appears in the menu and it appears separately in the right layering with the hat and let's see if the yes the accessory is moving correctly so then the only other thing left is that it's a pain for only gonna have one having one option here and then you gotta click on it and click the color buttons so we can use the new color body options to make this a little easier for the player okay so we need to I'm just referencing my old file here use icon here use icon skins sure we can call it the same thing and make a new folder and then we're gonna oops call it that and then how is this structured okay hex codes and buttons all right so maybe we'll take the bodies pop them in here mm -hmm. And of course, I do my easy hack of just picking a cool part of the body. Okay. Select inverse. And delete, 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 delete. Now we have some buttons. Um, I made copies of these layers, so I got to delete the extra spaces and copy. Okay, am I set here? That looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try that out. So it actually turned out that because I'm using a mirror and ref right on the body, I could not do the technique of adding a color code and brackets to make expand the buttons to appear here instead of as a color picker. Um, so I've had to settle for the leaving it this way. I'm not sure why this started glitching, but I believe, yeah, the file's there. It should work. I'm not sure what's going on. But yeah, because I have the ref here, 
and I need to link it to the year. Otherwise, what I would normally do is pull these out of the body, delete this folder, and at the end add color, the word color, space, square bracket, color, square bracket. But then I lose the mirror ref, so this is an oversight on our part. So this is definitely something I will keep in mind when we go to add this as an actual full feature later, but for now, I guess you have to be stuck with the color picker menu for this. And I just want to show you a really cool example, uh, which is the Build a Bright Game by the amazing Mia, who's got a few amazing games on Maker. And so what she's done is you have the skin color as options and the color menu as body sizes, which is, of course, genius. But this, this is really easy to do in this game because all the options are white because it's a wedding dress up which is also a stroke of genius on her part um, so check out this game it's great for some inspiration on how to do this and yeah